What's good YouTube, Ambo Gimmick here, and today we're going to be giving you guys a Liu Kang guide with some sector. Uh, I was recording earlier, but something happened with the mic, so gotta start all the way over. So we're going to make this a quick little guide. I hope you guys enjoy it. But without further ado, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And let's get into this video. Okay, first we're going to go over his buttons. There's a standard one, six frames, really good for punishing. Down one, seven frames. Then in one is plus three on block. Right? Then in two, 10 frame high, plus one. So you can do some mind games there. Yes. Back two, 10 frame mid. Really good for with punishing. Second hit is a high. More mind games there. Fourth four, your best stagger tool. That's one you'll be using, minus three on block. You can do some more strike throw stuff. We're gonna go through it. If you guys have seen it, it's gonna be, this is gonna be Lou's game plan right here. Strike throw. All right. Forward one is also good. Seven frames. Good with punishing tool. Full combo. Uh, we have two, two, plus three on block. Stuff like that, more mind games. Uh, four string, four, four, three, four. Three, three, three. You have three, two. Overhead. Can't fall as block it. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Note that he doesn't have a back three or a four, three or a four, two or a back one. Buff Lou, by the way. Um, what else? Yeah, down three, down four, also good pokes. This is what you're going to be using to try to get in. All his other normals don't have the range. Uh, special moves, you got that, fireball. That's flame as they call it. Really good zoning. Movement is good, so that complements his zoning really well. No fireball. Super plus on block from full screen is definitely your turn again. Uh, you got this flying kick, or what are they called now? Dragon's tail. Yeah. Five frames, actually good. You can do another one after it on hit. You have you can do your cosmic flame in the air, by the way. Oh, wait, it's the air. Uh, you have this one. Dancing Dragon, I want to call it. Yep. The new bicep kick. Good ender. Corner carry. That's your most damaging one, honestly. Uh, your down back four. Dragon's Breath? Not on the move list at the front page. Yeah, Dragon's Breath. We're going to go over this one at the end, too, because we're going to go over some more uh, Scorpion. Yeah, Scorpion. Some more sector stuff. But this one's also really good. Amazing anti air, by the way. You can get a full combo follow up if they try to jump at you. That's really, really good. Uh, I think those are all of the special moves, actually. Yeah. So to make it long story short, Liu Kang is just like a really, he's really, he's actually pretty fast, solid, really good zoning. He lacks a little bit of range, but he makes up for it with his damage. Good stagger tools, good strike throw, mind games. Amazing anti air fastest jab in the game. Good low pokes, low fireball, goes under projectiles. Need to burn, eat them all. What's that? Amazing. Just just your basic all around character. But now we're gonna get into some combo.
this far now we're going to show you the Liu Kang and sector set play that i was talking about if you haven't seen me on stream check it out twitch.tv slash ambu gimmick this set play is actually really really good and it's with the 333 and down back four all you have to do is just call the sector cameo after the first kick of the 333 and end it like that and that gives you a follow-up where the meter where the missile actually hits on their wake up and that jails since that jails you can't switch your block the up block bonus blocking still makes them plus if you delay tech then you still have to block me on a jump in and i'm not so sure if you can delay tech into up block so i haven't seen anybody do it quote me correct me if i'm wrong in the uh, comment section below now we're going to turn them on Get up, delay, random, get up mode on. Enhance dash attack because it's reptile. All right. 
I still got an auto. 10 frames, right? So. Boom. Best case scenario. Worst case scenario anyway. Or best case scenario. It'll whip completely. But it can stuff other wake ups if they're not fast enough. So that lets you do mind games like this. Since you get your turn again, you can just go into whatever mind game that you want for a loose pressure. Then one, plus three. So you can do uh uh to that. Uh that. Two two after it. You just it's just your turn again. Right? And this is what I like to do. And then I let them decide. <laughs> so 2-2 two, two is actually really good. Right? That setup is really, really good. It works from flying kick, but now if they have meter, so be wary, because it does it just doesn't keep you as close as down back three. As much as I would like it to, it just doesn't. It only works if they delay wake up, but if they have armor, you will just get hit. It works in a corner though for sure. So it still works in the corner. Worst case scenario, like I said, they'll dash right under you. It's not doing it now. Is he delaying wake up in every single time? Damn, I had a set for random. Oh, I just got stuck. Damn, I did not know that. But there you go. So certain wake ups just get beat all together. Can still get it from here. You can still get it from most of your strings in the corner. So yeah, that's the set play that I like, and I think is very underlooked for some strange reason. I don't see a lot of. I don't see Lou and Sector at all, but I think that's really good. And I just wanted to add that at the end of the video. And he can also do it from back throw. Really cool. Right? He gets pressure all the time. But yeah, that's going to be the Luke Kang guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'm rambling, everybody. Abu Dhabi. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.